Hi, I'm Will Greenwald, Senior Consumer Electronics Analyst at PCMag.com, and this is the DJI RoboMaster S1. This is a remote-controlled robot that you can program, and it is intended for a learning tool to teach kids how to code, and maybe even you how to code, too, because there's a lot of power in this little thing. To start, I'm not programming this with coding right now. I am controlling it entirely through my app directly. This is a remote control robot at the moment, which I can pilot in a variety of ways. I'm not going to let it roll off the table right now, but you can see exactly how limber this robot is. It uses these four mechanum wheels, which means that it can go sideways as well as forward and backward. And it also has this neat uh, camera right here, so I can see what's going on. The barrel shoots both a laser blast, or it can shoot these little gel beads that you have to soak for four hours and uh, then they sort of become really tiny bees, then become about the size of tapioca. And it looks like this. Neat, huh? This is a very cool robot just already because it's really fast, it is limber, it can shoot little balls and lasers, it can take videos, you can record things. You can also program it to follow people. It can actually take the outline of people and then track them, following at a pace behind, and it's a pretty unsettling and fascinating thing to watch. Just this little robot, completely not controlled by any human, just automatically following a person. But that's only half the appeal of this. The really interesting thing here is that you can program this, and it uses two programming languages. Scratch, which is an MIT-developed tile-based language for children ages 8 to 16 to learn how to program. Uh, you don't need to worry about syntax or text or typing a lot of things. You just drag these blocks together that represent different things, like uh, if this recognizes a shape, if it fires a laser, if it rolls around in a certain direction, all these different things just with tiles you click together. And it's a very powerful way to teach this to do different things, like, say, following a target. And it's a skill that you can transfer over into if you're learning Scratch through, say, a programming class at school that's the same language. There's also the ability to program this with Python, which is a powerful text language. You can put in whatever granular code you want into this to teach it to roll forward, chase something, Honestly, this is a pretty compelling and fascinating robot from DJI, the makers of uh, a lot of aerial drones. It's one of the biggest drone manufacturers. Those uh, quadrocopters with cameras, a lot of cinematographers use them to get what used to be called crane shots. Uh, and they can follow people around too and take photos. So this is sort of a, you know, it's a land drone, but it's also an educational tool. And at $500, it is fairly pricey, but the things you can do with it make this remarkable for, say, a classroom or, uh, you know, a well-heeled parent who really wants their kid to eventually learn how to program Python, or just, uh, you know, harass their nanny with that. You can do a lot of just, ooh, hit the lens with that one, nice. This is the DJI RoboMaster S1. It's a fascinating robot, and we're gonna cut in some clips of it rolling around because I don't want it to fall off the table right now. It can bump into a bunch of things, but it should not fall four feet onto even carpet because then it can break. A lot of robots are like that. This isn't ruggedized and it's not waterproof, but you can have some fun with it and it's surprisingly zippy. Ow. <laughs> 